Jesus is coming again. Did you know that he's also recorded in the Old Testament talking about the coming of the Lord? Isaiah chapter 25, verse 8 and 9. You will swallow up death in victory, and the Lord will wipe away tears from all their faces, and the rebuke of his people shall be taken away from all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken. Verse 9. It shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Recorded in the Old Testament is the story of the coming of the Lord. Many have said, Old Testament has been thrown away. Now we are running with the New Testament. But I want you to understand, even in the Old Testament, in the days of Isaiah, when he was filled with the Holy Ghost, he talked about death being swallowed up in victory. Death is our public enemy, number one. In fact, in the Bible, it's recorded, the last enemy to be destroyed is death. Understand, therefore, that this enemy called death is sweeping us away. Who among us is a, fa is a family which has, not ever, which has never seen death? Which among us can stand up and say, I don't know of anyone who died, but death, being public enemy number one, you'll be the last one to be destroyed. The Bible says the last enemy to be destroyed is death. And then Isaiah, in the old days before Christ, he also prophesied that there will come a day when death will be swallowed in victory. I look forward to that day when Christ comes again, when death will be destroyed. There will be a funeral for death. Death himself will die. He will be swallowed up in victory. But listen, those that are going to be able to witness the funeral of death must always be on the side of the Lord. And then the Bible says, on that day we shall shout, Lo, this is the Christ that we have been waiting for. Lo, this is the Lord that we have waited for. Continue waiting. Don't lose hope. Don't lose it now. We have come too far to lose it. We have come too far to give up. We have come too far to let go. He has led us this far by faith. We need to continue holding and waiting. That shout will be heard. If you want, if you choose to be on the side of the Lord, you'll be part of those that are shouting that shout of victory. I look forward to that day when all the dead in Christ shall arise and death will be swallowed up. I look forward to that day. My own father died in this faith. My brother died in this faith. My sister died in this faith. My mom died in this faith. We look forward to that day when we are going to shout, this is the master that we have been waiting for. The Jesus that we are waiting for. His arrival would mean our departure. Our departure from where? From this earth to glory. And then the Bible says, we shall rejoice in his salvation. Oh yes, he's a savior. Oh yes, he's a redeemer. He's coming to redeem you and me from the claws of death. Believe in him, repent, and take a stand. May the Lord bless.